What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you my absolute favorite Canva feature, which happens to save me so much time when it comes to creating content. I love using Canva. I basically use it for all the content that I create. And this one feature that you can find on Canva Pro only, so it doesn't come on the free account, it comes on Canva Pro, is an absolute lifesaver. And this tool is the resize image. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can take one piece of content and resize it into different formats so that you can repurpose that content over and over again. And of course, I'm gonna give you a tutorial, so let's go ahead and hop right in. Okay, so I went into my Canva account and I pulled up a podcast Instagram story and created it for an example for this video. So what you're going to do in order to resize this is go up next to the file, you'll see the button resize. So you can click here. So as you see, this is um, not an option because it, right now it is an Instagram story. So this is great if you want to put this particular design on different platforms. So for example, if you want to share this as your Instagram story, if you want to share it as an Instagram post or a Pinterest pin. So what you do is just you hit um, the Pinterest pin if you want to share this on Pinterest. And you can either hit copy and resize, which I usually like to do, or just hit resize. For this video, I'm just going to hit resize. So if you do it right here, it automatically resizes it to a Pinterest pin. So you can go ahead and take this design and share it on Pinterest. Then. You, if you want to go ahead and share it on Instagram, just hit Instagram post and resize again. And it automatically changes it to an Instagram post. So this saves so much time because basically you could take the same design and repurpose it onto different platforms, which I think is amazing. So let's just go through another example. So for example, if you want to take this quote and change it and resize it to a Pinterest uh, pin, let's go ahead and do that. And it automatically changes to a Pinterest pin. Now, sometimes you do have to do a little editing um, as far as maybe making the text bigger or you know, kind of just editing it however you like. Of course, all the templates in Pinterest are editable, so you can change the colors in the background, you can change the font, and basically do whatever you'd like with the pin um, or with the design, the template itself. So another thing um, that I also think that this particular quote is good for is perhaps if you want to put it in a workbook or a PDF. So here you'll just go to the US letter size. And if you see here, it's the eight by five times 11, and you can just hit resize on that as well. And you can basically just download this as a PDF. Um, or put it in a workbook. So if you like this quote, you could put it in a workbook and download the whole workbook as a PDF. So you can resize this into basically any of the resizable um, options here or even just make a custom size here. So that's why I think that this particular pro feature is so great. Presentations. So I personally think that Canva has really, really beautiful presentations and they can really tell a good story. So here you'll see kind of all the designs for the presentations and they have several pages in them already. So this is actually a great thing to kind of um, go ahead and resize, especially if on Pinterest, for example, a new thing or a trending thing that gets a lot of engagement right now is Pinterest stories. So a lot of platforms are kind of taking on the whole um, story feature and really expanding it on their platforms. So I have mixed feelings when it comes to Pinterest stories, but I'll get into that in another video. Um, here you could just click, for example, let's just use this one, creative writing 101. So as you see here, we are in um, the actual presentation. And if you look here to the left, there are just a lot of different slides that they use in this type of presentation. So what I personally like to do is I like to go to resize. And then if I go to Pinterest pin 
and click resize, it automatically changes this to that size. And I can actually use this template as a um, Pinterest story if I want to go ahead and upload that and just, you know, change the colors, change it to my, um, basically my brand colors, what I want to put instead of creative writing, I'd write about something else. And then as well as um, change the design up a little bit, but it gives like a good template for you to work with so that you're not creating these stories from scratch. And also what I like to do is sometimes I like to resize it and put it in an Instagram story. And I put um, different slides on Instagram and basically have people kind of scrolling through. So it keeps people engaged with my Instagram stories longer. So I love using these presentations and because it just has so many pages and so many different beautiful designs within them. So this is definitely like one of my favorite things um, about the resize tool. I hope you like this tutorial about how to use a Canva resize tool. So to get more videos like this, and if you like my Canva videos, please leave a comment below so I can create more of them. And please don't forget to subscribe below as well to get updated on my latest videos for creative entrepreneurs and online businesses. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.